we're Rin, and today I'm here with Irene. Yay! <laughs> today we're here at Sugar Pills office, borrowing the space really quick to shoot a very quick video. I am gonna transform Rin Rin into a Lolita clown. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah. I'm so curious. <laughs> so you guys may have already seen Irene on my channel before. We've done this video right here. But if you could remind everyone what you do. Um, so not only do I work for Sugar Pill, my friend Manny and I also uh, do zipper cut, which we throw events and lately we've been catering more towards the Lolita community, which is something we share in common. Mm or an interest that we share in common rather yeah. and our last event actually happens to be a Circus Lolita event and we had a lot of fun with that because we really wanted to share our love of Circus Lolita with everyone and with so many other so many brands now doing circus designs I think it's something that is more easily accessible so we've been talking about this for a while now Irene has been telling me I want to turn you into a clown it's um, yeah. a kind of something that I <laughs> do on myself a lot mm. and they look really good hey. I'm put some here but, oh, well. yeah they look <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they look really good, very artistic. So I'm actually really curious what I'm gonna look like today. I hope I could be a good clown. I think you'll be an excellent clown. Okay. Let's, Let's start! Wee! <laughs> so I've taken off all my makeup and I've done my usual base makeup. Your cupcake is first. And I'm starting off with the lightest color. Kimchi. The collaboration with the drag queen and makeup artist Kimchi is amazing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely should. Yes. So I'm doing this more on the in the crease and blending it into butter cupcakes. A blending brush. So right now it's pretty harsh. The nice thing about clown makeup is you can kind of be really messy with it and it honestly doesn't matter. Home sweet home. In the area above, kimchi. So kimchi ended up with blending with butter cupcake so you got a more of a green tone. I'm gonna bring back a little bit of the blue hues. I'm also going to go ahead and brush some of it under to kind of round it out. With a lot of clown looks, they actually, instead of using too many harsh lines, they're all about curves and nice soft endings and that's to kind of make them look a little bit less frightening. Mm -hmm. back. It's kind of like a do as you please kind of thing. Just if if it feels right, it feels right, and if not, there's no harm in changing it. I mean the whole point of clown makeup is to be really playful. And I think improvising is what I generally do. 2 a.m. It is a warm purple. Purple eyebrows. Sometimes I'll completely take my eyebrows out, but if I leave them in, I'd like them to be colorful as well, just to really complete the look. I'm actually going to do flame point first. Start from this upper temple area and work our way down. If you're scared of colored contour, like start out, it's easier to add on versus take away. Definitely start off slow. But I like kind of pulling that blush contour up. What makes this look a clown? Generally, yeah. it's the little details at the end. I mean, the easiest way to really bring anything into a clown look is to put the points above and below mm -hmm. the face, like the, the eyes. Queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really the easiest way to do it. We are gonna bring it into her cheek area, but we will add additional stuff above it. But we want to start off with the. The reason I'm starting off with this first is because I want whatever I'm putting on her cheeks to add to the clown effect. So next, I will be using Dolly Pop, which is the hot pink. This is Inglot Duraline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
The hardest part is definitely Matching. trying to match. I'm very fortunate that I don't wear foundation, so if I mess up, I can totally take it off. Oh. What's good too also is to um, mark the point. So mm -hmm. if I can see, like, if you look, if she looks straight at, uh, at the camera, where her eye, like, where her contacts in her iris starts, that's kind of where the point is in the front. So if she looks like me, I can note that. You know that's where the start of it will be and you can at least kind of gauge like the three points and then draw the lines from there again if it's not perfect don't worry about it yes. it's not about being a perfectionist Ooh. Ooh, turkey somebody came up here sir Hi. sir can we help you <laughs> oh no you're not eating that cake no 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 the cake is Stay not for away you. from the cake. <laughs> oh, he did a double take. <laughs> <laughs> Not while I'm doing this! Rude. <laughs> Add more blues to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with kimchi again. Kat Von D tattoo liner. In this situation, I'm keeping the lining really minimum because I just want it to be there for the eyelashes so they can, it's not gonna just show color through and blend it a lot better. Three dots. Just add a little bit of detail. Because there is a little bit of color space on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and use the Dolly Pop mixture that I created earlier and line the bottom. <laughs> Precious lashes. Girl Crush and Cubby to create a clown ombre lip. In the classic pulled out kind of joker. So I would probably normally keep the ends for myself, but because I want this to be a bit of a cuter look, I think we'll take that down a little bit. If you want to add a little bit extra on top of that, go ahead and take the same blush slash contour you use. So I'm using Clay Point again. And put a little bit on the chin. Now let's get changed! Yay! <laughs> I mean, you look like me. <laughs> that is the dream. I'm excited to see what you guys think. Bye.
Ready? Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> wow! This is crazy! Oh my god! Full outfit. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. get that. <laughs> oh! Wow! I like it. <laughs> this is like a cute Valentine's Day look. Yeah. <laughs> you know, surprise your boyfriend. <laughs> or girlfriend. At first, I was kind of shocked at how pale I was, actually. Uh, I, yeah, you know what I actually found? So, uh, I know that you asked about white face earlier. Yeah. I tend to not do that because for some reason when I apply the color in that kind of configuration, mm -hmm. It just makes the rest of me look paler generally, so yeah. it's not a necessity. And white face is a type of clown, but it's not, you don't have to go in that route. But I think when you add the other colors, it just like, those pop so much more. Mm -hmm. that it just makes your skin look, it like the color contrast of your skin is like more pr prominent. Mm. When you view a lot of clown tutorials mm -hmm. on the internet, they tend to be really scary and like mm -hmm. the ooh scary clown or a yeah. clown and all that stuff. And it's been geared for that for a while. So what I like to do is just this more of artistic take and sometimes it's cute, even though it's cute isn't really the thing that I like to do most. I think that it works a lot with clowns and it's really fun to see like, especially when kids like see you and they're like really excited. Cause you know, you have the kids who are super duper scary and you have the kids who are super duper stoked. And mm -hmm. I like it. Inspiring I, a new generation of clowns. Yeah, those <laughs> cute clowns. Pastel. Yeah, clowns. this is like, bleh. <laughs> you corn <laughs> vomit. <laughs> no, don't say that. No. You're like, I made you into unicorn vomit. Yeah, like that. Yes. I guess with clown attire, for me, mm -hmm. it really, I mean, patterns are very important. Color, color is what inspires the makeup. But this is just an angelic pretty dress that I got mm. uh, for actually a really great price. And because of the polka dots, of course, and this like nice ruffling, I was like, oh, perfect, perfect for clowning. Mm -hmm. This is actually a child's tutu <laughs> that I got from Goodwill. Um, what's nice is this is like probably a really, really small child, so it's nice and tight around the neck. If you do find one that's a little bit looser, just go ahead and pin it and safety pin it back or clip it so that it, you get a nice uh, neckline. This wig, I just honestly like, it's it's a bob, it was a normal bob wig, wig and I just kind of chopped off the bangs and chopped a uh, jaggedness into the actual bob itself and then I sprayed it with uh, hair color. Oh, where? Just a spray hair color. All of it. This was, this was formerly a white wig. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah, that's so, so that's cool. kind of what helps create some of that texture too. I really like that kind of choppiness. It's nice to round out with an accessory on top or mm -hmm. some sort of updo or something like that to kind of compensate for everything that's really loud below you. You need to balance it. Thank you so much! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my my just, energy doesn't level it make has yeah I feel like when like I'm a clown I just feel happier. Yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't know what it is. We went to a, an event together where we just was clowns and for some reason we're like yeah this is good. This is fun. <laughs> and then we just started doing different clown things and I mean, even though it's not very often, it's kind of like Lolita. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's this huge part of my life, even mm -hmm. though I don't participate in it every single day. But mm -hmm. like, I identify with it a lot. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I I mean, it's not like I grew up with clowns, but yeah. I really love the way it looks. Thank you so much <laughs> for sharing this with me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you for letting this me turn me into a clown. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'll never have this experience ever. So thanks so much. If you guys want to see more of my clown looks, you can follow me on my makeup Instagram, which is at Lou3. Uh, she'll put it somewhere below because it's complicated because I decided to make it five O's for some reason. I'll link everything in the description box below if you want to check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Irene, for making me such a cute clown. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. How is it? How is this? I mean, look in the full length mirror. Oh yeah, I need to do that. Oh my gosh. I always go through and I go, oh, this is gonna look really awful. And then I'm like, no, this isn't bad. <laughs> it's cool, it works. Sorry, I like totally I was still checked recording. myself out. <laughs> no, it's yeah, fine. No, like, it's good. Yes. <laughs> and